Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here, and welcome back to Tarkov. We are sitting at a 50% survival rating. Solid C average. Today, what are we going to do today? Well, I picked up a couple of tasks here and there. We now have Supplier going on, where we have to find the 3M body armor and the Taz. We also have the uh, dailies. We have Exit the Location, which is Customs. We have Elimination, which is Three Scavs. And we have Find and Transfer, Can of Green Peas, and Army Crackers. Question is, where are we going to go? What are we going to do? We are sitting here with a Mosin. We kind of need... We need a lot of things, honestly. We have a lot of stuff that we have to do. We have to... We have Acquaintance. We have Gunsmith. Acquaintance, we need the Iskra, the Amelia Rye Croutons, the Cannabis Stew. It really does sound like we're going to go to Interchange. Let's go back and make sure we have everything that we need first. Let's go ahead and get some more LPS real quick. Uh, we'll just go ahead and buy 20 for now. That way we can just right click, top up, and we're good. I do enjoy that quality of life feature. I hope there are more things like that in the future. Alright, so we have interchange. Let's see here. We are going to need to be sneaky, stealthy, all this other stuff. In fact, we even want to take in this particular weapon for an interchange run. It doesn't kind of feel like it, does it? What else do we have available to us? Hang on. We have 60 rounds of HP. We could do an AKM. Uh, that is 366. I assume we can actually get more of this, right? Yeah, we can buy more of it from Jaeger. So technically, if we wanted to, we could grab... No, we can't. We can't purchase it outright. We can only trade for it, which is for Tachanka. So that's out. What else do we have? What else could we take in? I do enjoy the Keter. It would be nice to have something with a little oomph, you know? Let's just take a look here. I can't buy 9x19 PST. I beg your what now? How is that even a thing? That is like the bog standard. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, hmm. That, that puts a damper on some things here and there. What is this? This is tea. I bet you I can buy tea, right? I can buy tea so we could do an AK and run it with, uh, and we could buy an AKS basically. But we could run it with the T and just single tap it. Oh, we can buy an AKM. No, that's a VPO. That's a 366, which is okay. We have 366 ammo, but not a lot of it. We can buy FMJ. Oh, uh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can we even... All right. So here's the big question. Can we get extra mags for it? Because we only have one sitting in here right now. We would need more than that. That's a that's a 10 round mag. This is the 30 round mag. Filter by. We cannot buy the 30s, so we'd be running 10 round mags. Single tap in that sucker. Uh man, this is this is actually tough. Can we get PS rounds at all? We could take in an SK if we had PS rounds, but I don't think we have that even. Man, they really... Yeah, we just have HP. They really nerfed level 1 everything. They're making sure that you really just don't have fun. <laughs> Man. See, I can get that there as well. That one also comes with a 10, and we can't do... Alright, well... I guess we'll just take in... What do we take... What can we... What do we have? We have P, we have PPE, PPT, PRS, PS, PBO, that's 9 by 18, PSO, PST 9 by 18. So technically we could do... Hmm. Technically, can we buy more maggots? We can't even buy more. Okay, fine. We're taking in the freaking Mosin. Good lord, this is just the worst. Alright. 
7 o'clock in the morning. We're going to go in there. We got that insured. We're not going to insure anything else. We don't need to. We're just going to go ahead and go in. I might actually, because I got back the bags from insurance, I think I'll take one of the MBSS instead so I have a little more loot room. And how much is that to insure? 18? Yeah, why not? Generally, I wouldn't, but, uh, you know, they're like 15k or something like that on the market, so might as well see if we can get them back. All right, let's go over to Interchange, and hopefully this will go smoothly. Oh, ah. I hate this spawn. I hate it so much. Because this is the one that takes you directly over to the Emercom, right? They never changed it, did they? Yeah, it's still Emercom. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, we're going to play this low and slow. We have no armor. We do have a door kicker now, though. Take an extra analalalala. Take one of those. Do we need those for upgrading the, or building actually, the med station. Hang on, give me just a second here. I want to make sure. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. The audio is coming through my speakers as well as my headset. And now it isn't. We might actually just do a quick run on stashes and just leave. Mainly because I hate this spawn point. But we'll see. We'll 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 feel it out. Oh, I was hoping that'd be fleece. So I should put this in there so I actually have something in there. Because we need fleece to mop up the floor. Otherwise, we're going to keep getting the negative penalty for having a dirty floor. Because that's a thing. Let's see if I can remember where this one is. There it is. Oh. Wow, okay. Okay. Uh, poof. I don't... Hmm. These are all good things to have. Let's keep the bandit... Well, let's keep the bolts. I'll probably end up dropping the door kicker if I need to, but... right now, I find it acceptable to keep. <laughs> Never mind, I won't keep it. Head eyes with Magnum FMJ. Dude rocked me with a revolver. Nice. <laughs> uh, I want to try one of those sometime, but I need to find the ammo first. All right, well, now we got to figure out what the hell we're going to do because we have that. This will go into the next raid. What can we... Actually, can we afford... Like one of these, just something cheap and protective. Uh, probably go for the Paka. That seems to be the smarter of the options. And we'll get another Balala. And now we figure out what we're taking in. Hmm. If we had a site, we could get a site. I mean, 
33 plus no it's a skier no that's reflex i think it is rap or 33 plus 10 or if i really wanted to hate myself uh so 43 to 11 only run hp with it ah uh, is that even worth it No, I think instead. Yeah, I think we're just going to run an AK. With T rounds. That's going to be what it is. All right. AK. Get three of these. About 31, three. Thank you. And we will grab 120 of those. Trying to keep it inexpensive. All right, load, load, load. Reload, load. Beautiful. Then we have a little extra tea to go in there. So we have three extra mags. We have this terrible, horrible, no good, very bad thing, but it's all right. We are going to slap on I honestly forget how bad this is, or if it's bad. Ergo minus three, ergo minus three, sight 200, compatible available with, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this gives you a little sighting range. This does not. Uh, yeah, let's go for the EK. Oh, I could have used this PSO. That's all right. Uh, slap you on there. There we go. Not the greatest, but not the worst. We're just going to single fire this thing unless we get into real close quarters. Anything else? Uh, we have painkillers. We have bandages. We have all the other stuff. We have the balala. We have the pack. Tough call. Tough call. Where do we go? I still think we should go to uh, Interchange. I still think that's the best bet for all the stuff that we need for the questing. However, no, no, I think that's still our play. I think that is still our play. We're going to go back to Interchange, hopefully get a little bit better of a spawn. Uh, three, six, nah, because then we'd have to repair it. We'll ensure that. We'll ensure those and that should be good let us head in and hopefully have a little slightly better raid again it's it's real tough because there's always people that are out doing the secret stashes realistically i should get in as quickly as possible but from that spawn point there's just no way you are running across open field you're running across open parking lot and everyone else is filtering in on you there's just there's nothing to do there All right, this is slightly better. May actually keep it full auto since we're pretty well in close quarters. Yep. We can now mop. We are saved. Go ahead and turn that on for everybody else. Ah, okay. I couldn't tell if that was shooting or if that was somebody walking through bushes.
Things are already getting crazy out there. Thought I heard something, but apparently not. Just kind of grabbing everything that I can right now. I'll sort through it later, really. I keep hearing things. No vehicle extract. Oh, I already checked that. Come on. Remember the very first Tarkov video that I ever made, the first look way, way, way back when in, like, 2018. Where I caught somebody looting this thing. I felt like a big man for shooting him. Oh, uh, do I... Oh, God, I don't... Uh, ah! I have decisions to make. Oh! Couldn't get the drop on him. He was running BT. Good lord. What a waste on me. So, yeah, I guess Interchange is not going to be our play today. Uh, where else can we go? What else can we do? We can go to... We could do Shoreline. We could try and do some... Uh, Secret stash runs there, see if we can get things working. See if we can get ourselves a victory. Alright, so hide out real quick. Let's go ahead and start mopping. Dismantle the wall takes a sledgehammer. No idea where to get that. I'm sure someone has already figured it out. I'm sure I will with time as well. All right, so let's see here. We're just going to go ahead. Sad to say, I think we're gonna just going to have to run this particular loadout. So we're going to go ahead and grab... Hmm, carbine. And... 40. And one of these, one of these, and one of these. One of these? Do I really need a vest or a rig uh, thing? Uh, maybe just the backpack? Uh, yeah. 
Maybe just the backpack. Because real... We just need that, that. Put that on five, and that's pretty much all we need, right? Except for the... La la la. Look at us. We are so... So small. So tiny. So very tiny. <laughs> we are such a weak little man. Alright, so we're going to go to Shoreline. We're going to see if we can get some Shoreline runs in. We'll ensure that and that. And that will be the extent of it. And we will go in. I'm starting to think... So, if I get... If I get one of the... Um, God, what am I thinking of? What is the name of that thing? What did I call it? The the fruit by the foot. For fracture fixings, uh, fractures and such. Probably should swap out the Grizzly in my Gamma. So I have a little bit more room to grab a thing or two. Because I need to start getting some high value stuff so I can, you know, continue to run kits. Because I'm already starting to run low and I really don't want to have to start selling stuff in my stash that I've collected because I know I'm going to need them at some point. And that's kind of what Tarkov is all about. You go around, you collect the stuff that you know you're going to need for the future. But in this particular case, I don't really have an option. If I have to sell it, I'm going to have to sell it. Okay. Okay. This is a spawn didn't realize it was a spawn. I don't know if I've ever spawned directly in front of this house before, but we'll take it. I also realized that I have a second grizzly. There's no reason why if I find some good stuff, I should just move this out and let it drop. I'm just being dumb otherwise. How do I want to play this place? It can, of course, get a little spicy here. Generally, I've been pretty good about, you know, keeping to the outside, making sure that I'm not facing off against anything too horrible. Well, this golden egg and this keck tape are going right in there. Hopefully that golden egg is worth a pretty penny, and that way we can continue on. What's up here? Is there a bag up here? I can never remember. I had... Yep, there is not. I don't come into this house enough to remember what's in here. And that's why. There's nothing in here. It is a meager domicile that has no value beyond the back or the... Duffel bag in front. Toolbox or anything in here? There is nothing. Nothing! All right. I've turned off the binaural audio. It doesn't seem to be doing anything useful. If you had watched Veritas' video on it. Which is disappointing, but at the same time, not at all surprising. Audio is the one thing, for whatever reason, in this game, they have never been able to figure out right. And it's interesting because it used to not be terrible. It was never good. But it didn't used to be terrible. Alright. I'm 
I'm starting to think I have enough value in here to move this. This map has been ungodly quiet so far. I am nervous. Let's see if I can bolster the economy here a little bit. And by the economy, I mean my wallet. Which I need to remember I have some cash in there. I should definitely be using that when I have the chance. Oh, hello. Oh, weapon parts. Or not weapon parts, but uh, manufacturing parts. Pineapple juice, French. I'm gonna drink the pineapple juice here in a second. Realize that I'm basically playing this game like Daisy. Get in, do things, try to avoid people as much as possible. feel like this is worth more than those. Could be wrong, but find out. Please don't shoot me in the head. What did I just say? We should be out of here before they crest the hill. <gasps> uh, here, have a DVD player. So far, the jackets have been completely uninspired. Wow. Wow! Okay, did somebody actually come through here? Llama. Someone may have heard no, because the door was shut. I think it's just that the jackets suck. Wow. Oh. T. 
tea. Uh, we'll take that over the magnet. I would love to take the battery, but that ain't gonna happen. Wow, just nothing in the jackets at all, not even a tease. Pulling a Willy Wonka on me here. You'll get nothing! Good day, sir! Fine, I didn't want anything anyways. Just here to buy a house. This one looks good. It's got a nice homey feel to it. Oh. Oh. That's not even worth like 6k. That's, that's Garbo. This has potential. All right, well, it sounds like some angry people are coming, so. Just going to kind of hop, skip, and jump over here. Check this place out real quick. Now I am slightly regretting not bringing a uh, rig in. But it is what it is. Right, we're going to bypass. We do the dumb, we do the dumb. We always do the dumb. That is my modus operandi. I will wear it. There. They'll never know that I'm not a scav. I blend. I'm incognito. Scavs will look upon me and say, Hello, brother! Would you like some crackers? Oh, that's right, I need to actually find crackers, don't I? Crackers and peas. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to find crackers or peas with what I currently have. Alright, so... Here about Road to Customs, Railway Bridge, Path to Lighthouse. Oh, Path to Lighthouse is back that way. I could... Hmm. That's a thought. I've never actually found the extract over there. I don't know where it actually is. Maybe we go that way and just check it out? Although we did hear angry people over there. We would have to pass through the angry people. Not to say we're not going to find angry people out here as well, but... The devil you know. Not sure I'm using that phrase correctly, but... Be kind. I am small boy. I have small boy weapon with small boy hands and a hey, plane. I see they still haven't fixed that.
The sound, that is. You can't hear it at all. Poop somewhere. I don't know where. I wonder if it was a call-in. Seeing any scavs? We are... Not yet. So it was interesting. I went into an offline raid just because I wanted to mess with my graphic settings. And in doing so, I said, what the hell? I'll get a little warm up in. I'll turn the scavs on. So I turned them on, same as online. But I put them to high so that way there'd be more of them. Almost immediately upon spawning, I got head eyes. And that's just kind of par for the course. These scavs these days are a little nutsy. Like the Patino said that they introduced weapon, uh, is it jamming or recoil? I can't remember. Ooh. Saw him pop up for a second there. I think it concerns me more that he's going prone. Why is he going prone? What does he see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh huh. Yep. Break dancing. Usually two scabs up there, but I'm not going to mess with it. We're just going to keep moving on. All right, it's over at the gas station. Brave going up to the weather station. Might be able to kill a scav, get a secondary weapon and a uh, chest rig. Might also run into somebody looting. See a scav running, that's a good sign. He's not stopping, crap. Oh boy. Just a bit cracked. I have to rotate around him if I want to get the hit.
might not actually be worth it. I just press on. Yeah. Not feeling it. I need a successful raid today. I'm hoping this will be it. But I also need to be greedy. Well, I don't need to be greedy, but I am going to be greedy. We're going to check the stash up here. That's a motor. Oh boy. Yep. Because we're going to need a motor. I will sprint it off of that. That would have ended in tears. I could continue to be greedy, go for the other secret stashes here, but at the same time, I really should just take this as a victory and get the hell out of here. Eh. What about command? They just left us. <gasps> Not the most exciting raid, I will admit, but uh, yeah, we just gotta we gotta do what we gotta do here. We have to make things work. All right, let's see what we can do about selling and or trading, bartering, whatever. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. Come on. You can do it. There you go. I knew you could do it. Uh, security is ready for construction. All right, cool. From 306. What do I have here? I have sailor wood that I could put in. But I don't have... Yeah, we're going to have to stick with the other grizzly for now. Yep. Can we just take this in? <laughs> Might as well, right? I mean, it's just a rig. Should have done that the first time, but oh well. All right, so therapist, tell me how much that egg is worth. 42,000? Sold. Sold, 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 sold. Uh, 313. Can't remember if that's for a quest or not. Uh, da, 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 anything else to sell? It doesn't look like it, so... I mean, 94,000 is a start. We're slowly but slowly surviving. Keep the little vogger with the LPS. We'll drop the Yashanka, but we'll keep the Balala. I think that's about it. All right, so hideout. We can build the security. Boom. Oh, and we can build the generator! 100,000! We'll, we'll hang off of that for now. The defective wall has been mopped. We are no longer inundated with that thing. 
Probably need, yep, one more match for that. I need to figure out where we're going to get this. The multivitamin, I would guess the fob in woods or reserve. It sounds disgusting. Ew. <laughs> Uh, we need one more of those. We could purchase this, so that's easy enough. Okay, cool. Lavatory, we still need... We need everything. We need everything. Skill, hideout management, level two. We are rocking. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Skier, how much is that worth? Beautiful. Done. All right. With that in mind, I do believe it is time for me to pause. I thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next exciting adventure. Adios.